Hello, hello, my friends. I am back with another dedicated candle review, and this time we are talking about a brand new fragrance from Homeworks. This is Pistachio Glazed Donut. This is one of their four wick, 18 ounce vessels with the standard kind of wrap around pick photo label. Um, I love when Homeworks does this type of label, by the way. I think it's their best label. I'm not really a fan of the half wrap, so I'm glad that this is a full label because I think that when the candle is lit up, I think that it just provides a beautiful aesthetic to the room. So let's go ahead and talk about the fragrance notes on this candle. The fragrance notes listed on the bottom of the candle are crushed pistachio, fried donut, ground nutmeg, and white sugar glaze. Now, I am a Hallmarks brand ambassador, and I did receive, um, I did not receive this in PR. I purchased this candle, honestly, I purchased this candle full price. <laughs> I can't believe I did that, but I did want to get my hands on this quickly, and it was not available in my local discount re retailers. I will touch on that at the very end of this video as well, too. Um, I have some thoughts about that, um, but I did purchase this, at full price, um, I do have a discount code with Homeworks. It is Katie's Joyful Life. It'll save you 15% on orders over $40 at the Slack & Co. website. But where I was going with that in sharing that I am an ambassador is that we did receive a little um, email the day before this candle was released, letting us know of some different fragrance notes that were listed. So I'm going to go ahead and share the top, middle, and bottom notes with you because these are not all listed on the bottom of the candle. And I feel like they are important because um, they, they help bring about the fragrance profile here. Okay, so the top notes that were shared with us were ground nutmeg and fresh grated cinnamon. The middle notes were lychee, crushed pistachio and fried donut, and the bottom or base notes of white sugar, butter, milk, and almond extract. All right, so the reason I'm sharing those notes with you is because this candle, like the title of this video would imply, I my expectations are blown away or maybe met, not met, um, in both a positive and negative aspect here. So the negative aspect that I will go ahead and just get out of the way is that I don't smell any donut in this fragrance. I like the fragrance, but I don't smell donut. And I think that's a little bit disappointing because Homeworks is known for really getting that fried bread dough accord. They've nailed it. Uh, hot cider donut out of the out of this world. Sugared beignets, they do a great job with that. What was the other one? Was it Harvest Donut? I think that's the one that it's called around the fall. Um, again, Harry Slatkin, his nose just really knows how to put together a good donut fragrance. And that donut component is lacking in this candle. Now, I will tell you that what I think that this candle should have just been named was pistachio glaze. I think they should have gotten rid of the donut because really what my nose smells is a sweet confection confectionery, is that the proper word? Um, <laughs> pistachio glaze. I definitely get that sweet pistachio note. I definitely get um, like that. I don't want to call it a vanilla base because that would imply that I get a creamy note to that. And I don't, I definitely get a white sugar glaze note in here with that crushed pistachio. I don't really get any like nutmeg or I definitely don't get any cinnamon in here at all. Maybe a hint of nutmeg, but I think that it's not something that I would recognize instantly to the nose to be like, oh yeah, I smell some nutmeg. Um, definitely the pistachio and the just that glaze note is what really stands out to me on this. I actually really like this fragrance for a springtime candle. I feel like this is a really nice spring gourmand. It's a little bit outside of the box. I have not smelled a candle that smells like this. To be honest with you, the more that I burn it, yeah, it reminds me a lot of, there was a Kayali perfume that was released last spring, so spring of 2023. It's called the Yum Pistachio Gelato. Now, I didn't like that fragrance on my body because it doesn't work with my body chemistry, and it's not really, like even now smelling this candle, it's not really one that I would want to wear in a body care type of item, but I do like the way that it makes my home smell. It's, in a way, it's confection, what is it? Okay, I'm gonna stop trying to say that word. Like um, confectioner sugar, you know. It's it's candy-like, but it's not cloyingly sweet. Um, it's slightly floral, almost in a way, to my nose. And not, 
necessarily like a flower. It's like a nutty floral. Um, it's a very lovely fragrance. I, I really, really like it, but I will just say that my expectation was more to get that donut accord in here and I don't smell that. So if you are wanting this candle for that donut, you're going to be disappointed. But if you're gearing more towards the pistachio note in here, then I think that you will really enjoy this candle. Let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this one. So I will go ahead and lift up the candle for you. So I have burned this approximately halfway through. This candle has now been lit for about two and a half hours right now. You can see that the wicks are like those medium sized wicks. Uh, they're not having any problems with pooling out or leaning over. It is uh, performing really well for me, you guys. Uh, I'm very, very happy to say that. The pour date on my candle is September 9th of 2023. This candle, I would give a strength of an eight. Uh, the strength of the candle is really good. Now, the one thing I will say is that when I, on the first burn of this candle, it took about two hours for it to start throwing. Initially, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be a disappointment. But after two hours, it really started to throw for me. And you guys know, I do typically like to burn my candles in a hurricane, and I have now burned this candle in a hurricane and without a hurricane. And I will tell you that I'm actually pretty happy to report that I don't feel like the strength of the candle intensified with a hurricane or um, diminished without one. I will, where I noticed was the difference in the projection, the throw. And even that, you guys, without a hurricane on this candle, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a throw of a seven. It performs really nicely in my open concept living room. I have high ceilings in there. My home is a, is a single story, approximately 1800 square foot house. It was built in 2004, open concept in the living areas, more closed concept, lower ceilings in the bedrooms. And I will tell you that this candle without a hurricane, again, fills up my living room really nicely. It also starts to travel into the kitchen. Although I will say that like, I don't smell it in the furthest part of the kitchen, away from where the candle is burning without a hurricane. However, with a hurricane, this candle is close to a nine. It's trying to throw like into the bedrooms on the opposite ends of the house. Um, it's doing really, really well for me. So I was really happy about that. I'm very happy with the performance. I have not had to trim the wicks at all. I've let them be. Also, I'm sorry if the noise in the background is a little bit um, distracting. I do have some children home today from school. So we're just gonna work, roll with that, but I apologize if any of the noise in the background is distracting. But overall, this candle is performing really well for me, which is where I'm going to go with talking about, um, remember when I said that I purchased this directly from the Slatkin & Co website? I don't know about you. Uh, you guys, please leave comments down below and share what your experiences have been. I still kind of have this theory that the candles from Homeworks that are showing up in the discount retailers, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Uh, what's the other one, Ross? For whatever reason, you guys, I have not had very good experiences with the candles that I have purchased there. I have noticed that a lot of the candles I have purchased there, they have pooling out issues, they don't throw as strongly, and so therefore, I, I don't know if I'm correct in saying this, so I don't, I, I'm kind of cautious in making this statement because I don't want to be like slanderous or anything like that. And obviously I'm a brand ambassador, I love the brand. I still kind of hold fast to the thought that I think that a lot of the candles that are showing up in those discount retailers, something about them did not pass quality control because I'm finding that with the exception of maybe, I think it was tiramisu, that was like the last candle that was really like a low performer for me. I am finding that the candles that I purchased directly from the Slatkin & Co website just seem to have much better performance than the ones that I've picked up in the dis discount retailers. And that has been, now that those candles have been kind of showing up for like the what, like last year, year and a half in those retailers, I've just kind of come to that conclusion. So for me personally, I think what I'm going to do, my strategy going forward is that I'm going to look for a lot of these candles in the discount retailers, especially if they are new releases, maybe so that way I can just smell them, you know, to see if they're a fragrance that I would like to purchase in person. Um, 
And then I think what I will do is I will probably hold out and wait for good sales on the Slatkin & Co. website and then go ahead and try to purchase going forward. Someone in the Homeworks group did mention that it would be a fun thing if I could maybe do a comparison test of maybe a candle that I purchased in store and then purchase the same candle from the Slatkin & Co. website. So let me know in the comment box down below if you guys would like me to do kind of like a little scientific experiment there to see if I notice any difference. Um, but yeah, I, I would just be curious to know what your experiences have been because I know that um, a lot of people have given some mixed feedback on the candles that are coming in the stores. Um, I will tell you that I did pick up, uh, do I have three? Yeah, three other fragrances from Homeworks that are kind of newer. One is a returning favorite, so Lemon Poppy Muffin. I also purchased that one and have started burning it. That one does have some of the thinner wicks and we can talk about that in a dedicated review. I also picked up from QVC the Blueberry Violet Tart candle and I did also purchase, I think it's White Tea. Um, yeah, is it just called white tea? Um, I purchased that one at Marshall's the other day. So yeah, I, I might take a chance and purchase that one also from the Homeworks website because I do like the fragrance and maybe I'll do one of those side-by-side -side tests. Anyways, I feel like I'm starting to digress here, but you guys just let me know in the comment box down below, what are your thoughts on the candles being available in the uh in the stores what has your experience been i know that sometimes my experience is not the same as all of yours which is why i think it's great that we have this community there's a lot of voices that can chime in and help us with our uh, purchases i will say that one of the things that i have noticed is that a lot of the candles that i have received or purchased that have i want to say poor dates of after September 2023 have all been performing really well for me. I've noticed a huge increase in the strength and throw and the overall performance. So Hallmarks, I would say two thumbs up on this one if you have the mindset that this is just going to be pistachio glaze. Don't, don't expect the donut note in here. Um, and like I said, let's just wrap it up here. Um, disappointed that there's no donut note in here, but it exceeded my expectations in terms of the strength and throw. The performance of it is definitely exceeding my expectations. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful. It helps kick out my content to the old YouTube algorithm. Uh, a welcome to a lot of you. Uh, I had a lot of new subscribers from my recent collab with Melanie, so I just wanna say thank you so much for taking a chance on me here and for subscribing to my channel. And if you're just coming across my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to talk about a lot of home fragrance here. I do dedicated reviews like this. I do hauls, I have candle chat, I do empties, and I just really like talking about home fragrance here. So if you enjoy that type of content, please hit that subscribe button before you head on out of here. If you have more time, YouTube should be suggesting some more of my content for you to watch at the end of this video. But I want to just say thank you so very, very much for spending your time with me here today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.